name's John. This is Joe and Brent. Our project is the medical information on cell phones for emergency use. Um, <clears throat> this is a scenario to help explain why we chose our project. Okay, imagine that your father's diabetic and he's suddenly unresponsive. Um, he needs an insulin shot in five minutes or else he might not make it. An EMT shows up on the scene and doesn't know your father's diabetic. What do you do now? Uh, here are some more additional reasons why we chose our project uh, idea. People are more concerned with uh, their health nowadays. There's increase in known medical conditions, an increase in prescription drugs, increase in medical history, um, and a general increase in information needed just to treat a patient. Um, here are some reasons why we chose to actually use a cell phone. Uh, how many people have their cell phones on them right now? How many of you can't really think about leaving the house without your cell phone in your pocket, in your bag? Um, that's the reason why. Uh, as of 2005, there's roughly 280 million Americans that have cell phones. Uh, in 2004, cell phones grew by 14%. In December of 2003, persons 65 and older represented the fastest growing group of cell phone users. Uh, there's a huge market that can benefit from our system and for almost no cost. As you can see, uh, cell phones are growing. In 2015, uh, they believe it'll almost be one cell phone for every person in America. Uh, here's some other systems out there. Uh, there's a fingerprint technology being developed in Ohio. Problems with that is it's a third party and it will cost you money. And truthfully, how reliable is a fingerprint scanner in an emergency situation? Uh, there's also medical cards, wristbands, and necklaces that are still used, but they can only represent a limited amount of information about the person. Okay, so as John was kind of talking about, um, there's still some technology out there right now, such as the wristbands and the next things like that, but we think it's kind of outdated. And that graph showed that it's kind of getting to a general trend where pretty much everyone's going to have a cell phone. And so, as you can see, there's kind of a natural evolution of the cell phone now. It's not just a phone anymore. I mean, everyone's using text messages, email, you go on the internet, data, uh, data storage, and things like that. So that's why we thought that this was perhaps a good vehicle to put medical information on. You know, we thought it was pretty applicable. Um, because pretty much everyone has it on them. Um, as you can see, uh, after the whole Virginia Tech thing, uh, universities have gone to you know a system to notify students you know immediately of uh, any situations like that. And uh, the first thing that they use is text messages because pretty much every student has a phone. So we thought um, you know that's kind of applicable to outside of the university as well. So if we put medical information on a phone, um, it just kind of makes sense with that. So. Um, overview of our product is, um, as you can see, we hope to have specific medical information available to an EMT in the most relevant uh, situations. Uh, so we wanted to put uh, just the vital information that EMT would need in, in an emergency. We didn't want excess information. Uh, we just needed the stuff that they would need to know right on scene. Uh, any prescriptions, um, any allergies, or uh, past medical history that would be uh, pertinent to the current situation for an EMT. So um, this one's here right here existing medical information, prescriptions, allergies, and emergency contacts. Um, for our process, we had three different tasks that we wanted to have for our program. So one was entering, the other one was retrieving the information, and the third one was deleting the information. Um, so for entering information, we wanted to mimic the style as closely to entering contact information as we could as possible because um, you guys are all familiar with you know, getting someone's new number, putting in the contact information, uh, their number, their name, etc. So we wanted to mimic that as closely as possible. So uh, we wanted user satisfaction to be really high so that people would actually like the system and want to use it. Um, so along with that, learnability and memorability had to be of uh, concern as well. So 
we want to learn ability, you know, you can do it real fast without really having to go back and check your manual. Memorability is if you have to go back and change your prescription information or uh, change something in your medical history, uh, you would remember how to do it since the last time you went there. So we want to make it as easy as possible. The retrieving medical information, the most important thing is efficiency, because this is the step that's going to have to be done if an EMT comes on the scene. So if something were to happen to, let's say your grandfather has a heart attack and no one's around me, has a cell phone on him, an EMT can get to him, get the phone, and retrieve his medical information. They don't have to know how to edit it or delete it or anything like that. It's just retrieving. So efficiency is of utmost importance for a step. Um, the one thing that we wanted to standardize is to accomplish this, we just wanted to make this COM 933, and we wanted to, you know, perhaps incorporate that into EMT training and make it a second nature as dialing 911. So if they pound this in, it works on every cell phone, it works the same. There's not a different format for each company, you know, it's just standardized. And that way they can access information as quickly as possible. And then the third step is leading medical information. We want to put this step in. If you, you know, it's kind of a private subject still. Um, so if your uh, cell phone happens to be stolen or lost, you can actually get on another phone, call your number, um, and then through like the same style as checking voicemail, you could actually delete your medical information off your phone. So in a sense, it's an automated voice. Uh, you go through and you answer the questions. You put in your security code. It stays the same thing that you have for <coughs> your voicemail, and it would go ahead and delete them, uh, your medical information, your private uh, information automatically. So those are the three steps that we have for this. And then, if we go to the next one, uh, we did a video. Uh, we made a low fidelity prototype. This is the Wizard of Oz that we have here. We want a low fidelity, so you know you can increase uh, creativity. We didn't want to kind of box in any sort of opinions that people might have while they're doing it. So, you want to play the video? <coughs> so this is your flip phone. It's got the time on here. It's kind of hard to see, but. Um, you flip it over, you get to your normal keypad here. He's entering the POW 933 that we want to standardize in order to retrieve medical information, as you can see there. And then this would be the number. So what would come up would be your prescriptions, your allergies, uh, emergency contact information. Those are all different options that you can pick. And so under each one of them is going to have your list on. So if you choose allergies, either through a scroll type method or through the number bar method, so you press a number or use the D-pad, you'd be able to access uh, all the allergies of that person. <clears throat> all right, uh, as a, our main focus here was retrieval because time is uh, of the essence. So for retrieval, we decided to use two types of methods, scroll type and number type, and we tested the time for each one. And as you can see, scroll type and number type, it seems that number type takes the least amount of time. By doing statistical analysis, we found out there actually is no difference between the amount of time, um, as you can see by P equals 0 0.05. And then we also want to test the amount of instruction needed to complete each task. We figured that for entering information or deleting it, you would have your phone manual with you, so errors would not really occur, but you'd have to reference your instruction manual. And so we wanted to keep track of how many times people would look at their instructions. As you can see, that the blue line represents retrieval, the gray equals deletion, and this Aqua equals entering information, and as you can see across subjects, that entering information required a lot more instruction as opposed to retrieval and deletion. Uh, this led us to believe that perhaps uh, for entering information there was a familiarity problem, as in certain people are familiar with different phone manufacturers. But with this also, we did find out that our retrieval and deletion, which, which tends to be the most sensitive as in with regard to speed and privacy, really did not require much instruction needed, and the average was about two times, and we figured that with maybe additional practice, it would just become secondhand where you wouldn't need it at all. For future development, we would like to test the memorability of the retrieval and uh, We believe that our system increases the efficiency, it decreases errors, and has a high user satisfaction. Uh, we also believe that if our system were available, that it could save, save thousands of lives by the EMTs having information readily available that could potentially, you know, decrease the amount of time needed for a certain diagnosis. And also, it would also decrease the medical errors, as in a misdiagnosis, and also it would improve the quality of life by um, having it available to everybody, whether or not you have health insurance or not, but if you know you have a medical condition, that could uh, potentially uh, mean the matter between life and death.